Hello, everyone, and welcome to podcast nine and three quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half-Blood Princess. In today's video, I'm going to discuss whose wand Harry used to kill Voldemort. But before I get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. In the seventh Harry Potter book, Deathly Hollows, Harry's wand is broken when he and Hermione are in Godric's Hollow and follow someone home who they think to be is Bathilda Bagshot. They follow her to her house where she's revealed to actually be Nagini. They end up having to battle it out, but Harry's wand is broken in the process when one of Hermione's blasting spells rebounds. Knowing Harry's wand is broken and unusable, some may wonder whose wand Harry was using when he defeated Lord Voldemort. After that, Harry does use Hermione's wand to practice while they're still on the search for Horcruxes. And once Ron returns to the group, after he departed, he gives Harry a black thorn wand that he had taken from a Snatcher. Later, when the group is captured by Snatchers and taken to Malfoy Manor, Harry disarms Draco and takes his wand. In this process, he also gets Bellatrix Lestrange's wand and Peter Pettigrew's wand. Since Harry forcibly took Draco's wand, it's said that the wand's allegiance was changed to Harry, who now had control of Draco's wand. Also giving him control of the Elder Wand in the process, as Draco was the master for disarming Dumbledore on the Astronomy Tower. When Harry finally killed Voldemort, he was using Draco's Hawthorne Wand. Harry was able to defeat Voldemort, who had the Elder Wand, with Draco's Wand, because both Wand's allegiances were to Harry. Voldemort did not know this and thought that he had total control of the wand, which backfired when he tried to use the killing curse against the wand's actual owner. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.